How I took two bicycles and made a tandem, this time on bike physics. I started with one frame up front, and I'm ridiculously tall, so I had to use a really tall frame, but that's the front end of one frame, and then the rear end of another frame with two bottom brackets and two seat tubes, and then I connected it with a whole bunch of other tubing. This thing has a ridiculously long head tube and a huge main triangle, so it does definitely make it weaker. And it flexes a bit too up, and it noodles a bit too when you both people stand up on it. But it was a fun ride while I had that thing running. Dual 26s, and really designed for two very tall people. Another thing I would do just to stiffen it up a bit more is to use a rear triangle with shorter chain stays. Connecting the two bottom brackets are two giant one-inch tubes spaced as far apart as you can without interfering with the bottom bracket. I gussied them up with a couple of gussets, but I'm pretty sure that if you close up that whole thing and make it kind of one big fat gigantic tube, it makes it a whole lot stiffer. That tube between the bottom brackets needs to be big and stiff. It's important. Because of the heat I added with my torch, because this is a brazed frame, I did have to ream out the two seat tubes, and there's a gusset there for reinforcement at that particular point. And Slim, who rode with me, was definitely underwhelmed by the poor stopping power of the cantilever brakes that I put on this thing, along with the really long brake cable. Were I to do it again, I'd use the smallest frames I could get away with, the shortest chain stays I could get away with, the shortest distance between the two seat tubes I could get away with, and the biggest, thickest tube for that bottom bracket to bottom bracket, the boom tube. Do that, stiffen it up, works a whole lot better. As it is, I might vertically shrink that rear end and put three little children on it. That'd be an adventure.